Yo, what's up, everybody? Back at you in another video. Um, thank you, as always, for the support, everybody, on these videos that we've been coming out with this year. And if you're not a subscriber already, make sure you please hit that subscribe button down there because we're going to be doing more of these videos throughout the year. Some box openings, uh, giveaways, stuff like that there you don't want to miss. So this here was emailed. I think it was emailed to me. I can't remember. I have a few of these that I've had to look at. And we're going to do what we call scam or no scam. You guys can choose what you guys think on to it. I'll give my thoughts after the video. So I'm going to pull this up on the screen real quick. It's going to be two videos. So the first one is this uh, second one here on the screen. If you're going left to right, the hour and 11 minutes, one second. I can have the whole thing, and I'm going to play like the last two minutes of it. I'm going to put a blank slide in there for a few seconds, and then it's going to go into the ending of the break. And just will you guys watch, tell me what you think. Um, I'd like getting the comments down there and seeing everybody's uh, reactions and thoughts and stuff. So go ahead, blow the comment section up. I will always try to answer every single comment on there. Um, it, it's just a way to really uh, take a look at the hobby and how what's involved and on to it as of this point. So I'm going to go ahead and start the videos. You guys know it's going to go at the end of the, the, the break, kind of, of the first video. Slide real quick to show separation, and then we're going to hit the end of the break. All right, guys, see you in a few minutes. All right, so let's get into our table flipper. Oh, wait, kind of confused. All right, that's my bad. All right, nice Marquez Valid Scantling. 67 out of 99 hot routes. Nice uh, patch card there for the Packers. Good yep, job. it's a nice Packer there, hot routes. Here's a nice Baker Mayfield. Oh, that's a nice two-patch. 40, 49 out of 49. We're getting a bunch of cards that are f like 99 out of 99, but this is a 49 out of 90, 49. So that's nice, a nice hit there for the Browns for uh, Matthew. Yeah, that is a nice down and dirty. So that's a nice car for the Browns. And this is a nice, oh, that's a nice <laughs> signature DJ. Oh, that's a 6 out of 10. Three patch. So that's a super short print, 6 out of 10. Nice, nice short auto. print there for Carolina. They're going to uh, Philip F. Nice card there, DJ Moore. And nice our, auto. And here's our booklet. And it is pretty sweet. So it is a charger. A nice Joshua Kelly. The Joshua Kelly booklet there going out to the charger. So there uh, you go. And nice that booklet. Is, that is number 44 out of 99. So that is a nice on card autograph booklet. So that's an that's a nice booklet to get. All right, going into box number two for playbook. And we got one more box, so these booklets are pretty sick. So onto our playbook. Got, I think I got a little peek at the booklet, and it's pretty sweet. They sit there for the Eagles, uh, Jonathan S. This is a, whoa, another auto. Did he get another auto? And that's for the Seahawks. A nice and hit there for yet Seattle. Yeah, another auto. 5 of 25 Paris Campbell. Two patch rookie. Wait, no, that's not a rookie. But that's just a nice uh, two patch auto. 5 of 25. Nice short print auto there for the Colts. Uh, Kurt. And yeah. this booklet. Ooh, I think I know what it is. A 7 of 56 Henry Ruggs. Oh, that is a sweet. Like a jumbo patch. Nice booklet. rookie card there for it's Henry Ruggs. a nice Ruggs. rookie, Henry Ruggs. We've put a couple of his things tonight. So that is a nice Henry Ruggs. So Ella, uh, Vegas Raiders going out to Jonathan. 
Nice hit there for the Raiders. And so going into our final box of uh, playbook here. Yeah, onto our last box and last pack of playbook. Let's try and end it off with a nice. Try and end, off, end it off with a nice box of playbook. Here's our pack of playbook. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm not sure why YouTube cut us off there. Um, so just wanted to show you the, the cards in the last playbook box. Um, YouTube said that we had violated some sort of policy. Um, I immediately submitted appeal live and within a couple minutes they approved it. Um, but unfortunately uh, we had opened the, the, the pack of cards. We thought that it was still saving. Um, I never saw that violation before. So I, I, we, we kept opening the pack and showing the cards, they, uh, they approved the appeal and the, the live video is back up, but apparently it stopped streaming right as we were about to open that last pack. Um, so here are the cards that were contained within that pack. Um, we got a Jalen Rieger redemption here for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, so this is a nice uh, playbook jersey autograph for Jalen Rieger. Um, this is one you'll have to go online, scratch off the... Uh, you know the code there and redeem that so good hit there for the Eagles we have a uh, mammoth jersey patch here for AJ Dillon for the Green Bay Packers so super nice rookie coming on strong here at the end of the year um, that one is numbered 103 out of 199 so nice hit there for the Packers we got a, a really nice rookie card here for the Minnesota Vikings uh, mammoth materials two color patch for Justin Jefferson. Uh, this one is super short print. This one is numbered 8 out of 10. Um, try to zoom in there and get that to focus. Um, again, numbered 8 out of 10. Uh, super short print for Justin Jefferson. So really nice rookie card there. There we go. You can see that. Um, two color patch. And then last but not least was the, uh, the on-card on booklet autograph. This is for James Morgan for the New York Jets. Um, so again, nice rookie booklet there for the Jets. So again, apologize for the video cutting out. Uh, hope everybody had a great time. I think Patrick did a super job tonight. And uh, again, no idea why YouTube blocked that. It said it was a violation of some sort of policy. And when I looked at what it could have possibly been, I really have no idea. They immediately reversed on appeal with really no explanation. Um, so please check out this video. And uh, know that we will get the cards all packaged up. We had some super nice hits tonight. Um, and uh, those cards will get packaged up and everything will get mailed out on Monday. So thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great night. Bye-bye. All right, back. You guys got to watch the video. Did you guys have to watch it more than once? Just out of curiosity just to see the whole thing? Um, there's a lot wrong with this. A lot. Uh... And where to really be in, I took so many notes onto this. Yes, I do actually take notes so I don't forget something and saying. Kind of like the old index card in school. So, starting off, you know, the first thing I see, and this is no knock on anybody that wants to do, you know, sports cards with their kids. Please, don't have your kids opening up product for paying customers. I say it again, do not have your kids opening up product for paying customers that's the first thing i will say because here's the thing if you go look at some of them uh, i'll show you real quick i'm gonna pull that back up here go look at this prison break it's like the fourth one i believe here or maybe the second one one of these two i looked at actually it was the far right one i take it back the far right one you see the red line man they gripping them cards and I'm just telling you it just he has not know how to hold the cards right if you want your kid to open stuff up on YouTube for everybody to see have it be your own product seriously I mean come on have some respect for your customers out there and if you don't know that you shouldn't be doing this flat out I'm gonna be flat blunt like I said this year with this stuff and this here no 
no, no, no. I, I that's just wrong. I'm not hitting the kid up onto it at all. I'm hitting the father up or uncle, whoever that is, that's in that in there watching him. Do not do that because you're having paying customers do that. If you want your kid to open up stuff for paying customers, here's an idea. Get something that's already encased, like uh, clearly authentic. Or if you want to do other sports, look for stuff that's encased, Panini one-on-one or Panini one. There's products that already come in case, so that kid cannot sit there and jack up a surface, a corner. Um, he almost dropped a card out of the prism. I was sitting there watching. I saw him playing around with the freaking autograph, and I'm like, come on, man. You know, I told you that's been my thing this year. Come on, man. Get, get with it. This is why we always, I sit there and say, and I know a bunch of other people do too, you really, really need to know what you're doing before you guys start trying to become a breaker. Everybody wants to be one. It's the newest, coolest thing out there on every platform there is, from Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Breakers TV, you name it. But when you're going to start playing other people's money, give them the respect. Treat those cards like you would treat your own. If that's how you're treating your own, you need to get out of hobby. All right, so let's talk to where this is really going to go into the whole uh, part. The video cuts out, guys, right before he opens that box of playbook up. I have no long idea how long it was cut off for. Was it a minute, two minutes, ten minutes, twenty? You know? And I'm guessing it was at least a good five minutes on there. Because guess what? He's not using the program to stream with. He's using his phone. He can't tell if it's gone off or not. You've got to have something where you're watching your live stream as well, too. That way you can sit there and look at comments, uh, make sure your video's still going and everything else. Get the right equipment if you want to do this. So here's where I start looking at the stuff onto it. You kept going, so you opened that other box of playbook up. Video comes back on. You apologized for it and everything else, and then you show the hits. Or you show what was in the product. How do I know that's what came out of there? I'm not saying you're scamming anybody, but how do I know? I mean, it's not like there was a Herbert in there or something like that that would probably be like, okay, yeah, that was the box for sure. But nobody knows. <coughs> so you really, really need to look at how to make that right with your people. Or your customers, I should say, not your people. I'm sorry. Your customers. Because any other breaker that would have happened to, when we would have turned it back on, you could have had that stack out there and said, listen, guys, this is what happened. I'm going to open up another box of playbook, and you take those cards. If you don't have another box of playbook, go out and buy one. Say, guys, I'm going to have to order another box of playbook to add to this break. As soon as I get in, I'll come live, tag y'all, and we'll knock it out. Um, but you could sit there and share everybody was in that one, too. But there's a lot wrong with that whole thing. A lot. Um, looking over my notes here. He said YouTube had a violation policy come up, and that's why. He didn't know what it was and all this stuff. I don't know why you have a violation policy unless somebody came out there and flagged you and reported your video for some reason. I mean, I couldn't tell you why. I've never had a violation just pop up. Most of the time I get uh, Facebook violations for tagging too many people. But... I don't know. I don't know where the whole story is it because I I didn't wasn't in the break for one, and two I wasn't the guy that was conducting the break, so I'm just throwing out the facts onto it there. To me, is it a scam? Eh, I'm gonna probably lean towards it's not a scam. It's just bad business practice and a rookie move. Whether or not you know, it, it, you consider yourself a rookie or whatever, it's a rookie move. You should be watching breaks long enough and look for the guys that have been doing it for a long time to understand, you know, what you do when something like that happens. Because you, if you had a streaming program, let me put it to you this way, you have a DVR recording in the background. So if you lose internet and have to restart, guess what? You still have that DVR thing going the whole time frame. And you could post that video up. That's the benefit of having a computer with web cameras and streaming program. Split or was it OBS? I don't know what Streamlabs does. I've never played with it, so I think they might do it too, where it's DVR in the back portion, so that way people could see. Hey, man, he didn't scam us because it was still rolling. That's what it was opened up. You could easily do that stuff so that your name doesn't get thrown in the mud, even though you were trying to do something and be honest and it was truthful. 
there's going to be people out there that's going to judge you because of all the bad stuff in the hobby going on. And you just labeled yourself as it, even though you might not have done nothing wrong. So here's my thing. I don't know if this was an eBay break or what. I, I feel bad because the people that were in that break have no idea what was going on. And if you're new to get into breaks, the correct thing would have been done, if it would have been me, I would have either, if I didn't have another box of playbook, I would have went and bought one and said, I will open this up at a later date, tag everybody, and then I'll ship it out to you. I probably would have gave that other box up as well. That's me because I've been, I was doing breaking back in 2015. So that's just a common thing that I would do. With my mess up, I'm going to make it right for everybody. Now, granted, if that box, would have, like I said, would have had a Herbert Burrow or something, it, nobody, nobody would question it. None. Autograph. You know, it's just bad timing if stuff like that happens or not. But th my issues, like I said with it, is how it was handled at the end with the whole thing. And then also having your child handle um, paying customers' cards. I got if your kid's 15, 16 years old, that's a little bit different. But when you watch those prison, that one prison video I told you I'll look at, just watch. I mean, I got it. You want to make it a fun family thing, but this is a business. When you break for other people's money, that's a business. It's, it's no longer for your leisure. And I think most of you guys will agree with me on that offhand. Um... Like I said, everybody, you got to be careful out there. Breakers are a dime a dozen anymore. A dime a dozen. And anybody that's watching this as a breaker, they'll agree with me, especially if they've been fighting to keep their allocation for the last couple years. Uh, you could choose all kind of breakers out there. My thing is, before you ever get in a break with somebody, find it, look at their channel. If they're just starting, I would probably be hesitant, and that's just me. From what I've seen in the past, they've even jumped in. I'd let them break for a while first so they can get their, their uh, I guess we call it cherry popped or whatever out there offhand. So that way they, they get the, a rhythm down. They're comfortable behind it. They're using the right equipment. I mean, uh, I don't even know. It's very, very sad that, uh, you know, you see stuff like this happen. And, you know, with the customer aspect of paying to get into that stuff, you know, it's just really hard, especially with everything going on today. So, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I don't think it was a scam offhand, but I figured we were called scam or not a scam type deal. Uh, the other issue I really had, I forgot to even put into the video, I'm sorry about that, was that he was using a Topps 2020 project to cover the cards. Not probably the best thing to use. Go get a dummy card or something like that if you're trying to hide the cards from everybody out there. Again, go back to look at experience breakers. If you're going to do stuff like that, have a top camera and just shadow it from the front so the front camera don't see it. Top camera people can still kind of see, but small enough to where people aren't going to guess that you're trying to do the old switcheroo. But, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think offhand. Um... If you guys are still running into stuff like that out there, like I said, you go ahead and send me the videos, names, whatever it is. I'll take a look at it. And I got no problem put, making a video up onto it and showing, you know, what I think of the whole situation that's going on with it, along with any recommendations onto it as well, too. Just making sure I covered everything in my notes now offhand. Yep, that's pretty much it. So other than that, guys... Appreciate you watching. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe. We're hitting up on 2,500 shortly here. Subscribers, there'll be a nice giveaway at that time frame. Um, always check the videos because you never know when I'm going to pop a giveaway into them as well. And that's really about it. No product opening the rest this week, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I know I'm hitting this up on a Sunday for a Wednesday video, but if something I find or comes in, I'll end up opening it up for you all. If not, it'll be next week when we start hitting some more new releases in. Other than that, hopefully you all having a good week. It's hump day, almost a Friday, almost a Friday. Other than that, take care. See you all later.